there's something about a palace that just captures our imaginations. Maybe it's the opulence and luxury they represent, or their historical significance. From ancient civilizations, people of authority like kings and queens have always built themselves opulent palaces to assert the height of their power. And these traditions have continued even to this present day. The palaces are often adorned with stunning architecture, gorgeous ornate halls, and aesthetically crafted walls. Here are 15 of the most beautiful palaces in the world. Number 15. The Royal Palace of Caserta, Italy when King Charles VII of Naples saw architect Luigi Van Vitelli's grandly scaled model of the Caserta, it filled him with emotion fit to tear his heart. However, Charles never slept a night at the Regia as he abdicated in 1759 to become the King of Spain and the project was carried to only partial completion for his third son and successor, Ferdinand IV. Once famed as the largest built palace in Europe, the palace is an opulent example of Baroque architecture. Its massive size and sumptuous decor are breathtaking, and its expansive gardens are a peaceful oasis. The Royal Palace is also home to an impressive art collection, which includes paintings by famous artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, and Caravaggio. Visitors to the palace can tour the stately rooms, stroll through the manicured gardens, and enjoy the wonderful views of Mount Vesuvius and the surrounding countryside. The Royal Palace of Caserta is truly a magnificent sight to behold. Number 14. The Mysore Palace, India When the last palace, known as the Wooden Palace, burned to ashes during a wedding in 1896, Maharaja Krishna Raja Woodier IV and his mother commissioned British architect Henry Owen to build a new palace. The new Mysore Palace was completed in 1912. The Mysore Palace is a stunning example of Indo-Saracenic architecture, blending elements of Hindu, Muslim and Gothic styles. The palace, located in the city of Mysore in southern India, was the seat of the ruling Wudia dynasty for centuries before the fire incident. Today, the palace is one of the most popular tourist attractions in India, attracting visitors from all over the world. The main facade of the palace is imposing, with a series of intricate arches and domes. The interior is no less impressive, with beautiful stained glass windows, marble floors, and carved wood ceilings. Even more intriguing are the many secret passages and hidden rooms that are said to be within the palace walls. Number 13. The Alhambra Palace, Spain The Alhambra Palace is a beautiful example of Moorish architecture located in Granada, Spain. Built when the region of Granada was dominated by the Zirids, a Sanhaja Berber group that rules parts of North Africa. These Moorish people built the Alhambra, which served as a royal palace for the Nasrid Sultans. The palace is made up of four main parts, the Mexua, the Gomares Palace, the Lion's Court, and the General Life. Each part is beautifully decorated with intricate tiles, arches, and carved stonework. Visitors can also see many Arabic inscriptions throughout the palace. The Alhambra Palace is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Spain and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
it is definitely worth a visit if you are ever in Granada. Number 12. Buckingham Palace, England Buckingham Palace is the London residence of the United Kingdom's royal family. Located in the city of Westminster, the palace is a favourite tourist destination, attracting over half a million visitors each year. Unlike many palaces around the world, which have been converted to museums because of the demise of empires that built them, the Buckingham Palace is currently a working office and the site of many official events and ceremonies for the British royals. Despite its busy schedule, the palace remains one of the most beautiful buildings in London. Its neoclassical facade is adorned with sculptured reliefs. The grounds are meticulously landscaped and include a lake where swans swim. Buckingham Palace is a stunning example of British architecture and a must-see for any visitor to London. Number 11. Winter Palace, Russia The Winter Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia is an absolutely stunning piece of architecture. Its ornate facade and grandiose interior are truly a sight to behold. Commissioned by the Russian Tsar, Empress Elizabeth, the Winter Palace served as the primary residence of the royal family until the Russian Revolution in 1917. Today, it houses the Hermitage Museum, which is open to the public and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in St. Petersburg. Regardless of how you choose to spend your time at the Winter Palace, it is sure to be a memorable experience. The palace is a symbol of Imperial Russia and its beauty is truly unparalleled. Number 10. The Grand Palace, Thailand Construction of the Grand Palace began on the 6th of May 1782 at the order of King Rama I, the founder of the Chakra dynasty. This was a result of his move from Donburi to the capital city of Bangkok. After construction, this beautiful palace has been the home of the Thai royal family ever since. The grandeur of the palace is evident in its size. The complex covers an area of over 218,000 square meters. It is adorned with details such as gilded stucco work, painted murals, and carved marble pillars. It has served as a symbol of power for Thailand's ruling monarchy for centuries, and it remains an important cultural landmark for the people of Bangkok. Number 9. Chambord Palace, France There is no consensus on who actually designed Chateau de Chambord. Although the design is currently attributed to Domenico da Cortona and believed to have been influenced by Leonardo da Vinci. The Chambord Palace is an incredible piece of architecture for a number of reasons. Firstly, the building itself is absolutely massive, with over 400 rooms spread across 13 floors. Secondly, the exterior is covered in intricate, detailed stonework. The interior is just as lavish as the exterior. The grounds of the palace are stunning, with beautiful gardens, fountains and sculptures. If you've ever dreamt about being a royal, this type of palace is one to make your fairy tale dreams come true. Number 
Number 8. Wilanow Palace, Poland The Wilanow Palace in Poland serves as a reminder of the culture of the Polish state before the Polish partitions, which resulted in the elimination of sovereign Poland and Lithuania for 123 years. Built by King John III Sobieski in the last quarter of the 17th century, the Wilanow Palace is an example of Baroque architecture that had spread across Europe at that time. The exterior of the palace is adorned with elaborate stonework, and the interior is filled with unique furnishings. Since the death of King John III, the palace had been passed on to several owners. Every owner changed the interior of the palace, as well as the gardens and grounds, according to the current fashion and needs. In 1805, the owner, Stanisław Potoki, opened Poland's first museum in a part of the palace. However, during World War II, the palace was damaged and its collections stolen by the German forces. After the war, the palace was renovated and the stolen collections were repatriated. Today, the Vilanov Palace is open to the public and is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Poland. Number 7. The Royal Palace of Brussels, Belgium The Royal Palace of Brussels is the official residence of the King and Queen of Belgium. Located in the historic centre of the city, the palace has been a witness to some of the most significant events in Belgian history. Built in the 18th century, the palace is a fine example of Rococo architecture. Its facade is adorned with statues and friezes. The palace grounds also has a beautiful garden which is open to the public. In addition to its architectural beauty, the Royal Palace of Brussels also holds great historical significance. It was here that King Leopold II declared Belgium's independence from Holland in 1830. It was here that King Albert I was sworn in as Belgium's first king after the country's liberation from German occupation in 1918. Today, people come from all over the world to soak in its beauty and learn about its rich history. Number 6. Schönbrunn Palace, Austria Schönbrunn Palace is one of the most beautiful and iconic buildings in Vienna, Austria. The palace was built in the early 18th century for the Habsburg dynasty and it served as their summer residence for many years. The palace is set on a sprawling parkland and it features an ornate Baroque exterior with a grandiose staircase leading up to the main entrance. Inside, the palace is just as impressive with lavish state rooms decorated with opulent furnishings and artwork. One of the most famous attractions at the palace is the Gloriette, a monumental folly that offers stunning views over the city of Vienna. Following the downfall of the Habsburg monarchy in November 1918, the palace became the property of the newly founded Austrian Republic and was preserved as a museum. After World War II and during the Allied occupation of Austria, Schönbrunn Palace was requisitioned in order to provide office space for both the British delegation to the Allied Commission for Austria and for the headquarters of the small British military garrison present in Vienna. With the re-establishment of the Austrian Republic in 1955, the palace once again has become a spectacular museum. Number 5. 
The Forbidden City, China the Forbidden City is the palace of the former Chinese Imperial Dynasty, located in Dongsheng District at the center of the Imperial City of Beijing. It is surrounded by the numerous magnificent imperial gardens and temples, including the 54-acre Zhongshan Park. The name Forbidden City was given because commoners were not allowed to enter. It is the world's largest palace complex and has been declared a World Heritage Site. What makes the Forbidden City so beautiful are its many courtyards. It is a perfect example of traditional Chinese architecture with its red walls and yellow roofs. The buildings are symmetrical and have an overall balance that is pleasing to the eye. There is a sense of order and calm when looking at the Forbidden City, which makes it a truly beautiful place. Number 4. Pena Palace, Portugal the castle started in the Middle Ages when a chapel dedicated to Our Lady of Pina was built on the top of the hill above Sintra. Then, King Manuel I constructed a monastery on the same site, which he donated to the Order of St. Jerome. The monastery was damaged by lightning and the Great Lisbon Earthquake of 1755. However, the chapel and its works of marble and alabaster, attributed to Nicolau Chantrine, escaped without significant damage. In the 19th century, King Consort Ferdinand II decided to acquire the old monastery, all of the surrounding lands, the nearby castles of the Moors, and a few other estates in the area transforming the remains of the monastery into a palace that would serve as a summer residence for the Portuguese royal family. The Pina Palace is noted for its extensive use of colorful Neo-Manuelan style architecture, which is a mix of Moorish and Gothic revival styles. The exterior of the palace is adorned with intricate stonework, statues and murals. The interior of the palace features an opulent mix of furniture, tapestries and art from different cultures and eras. While the palace does require some upkeep, its overall condition is excellent considering its age. In short, the Pina Palace is a must-see for anyone visiting Portugal. Number 3. Drottningholm Palace, Sweden The name Drottningholm, meaning Queen's Islet, came from the original Renaissance building, a stone palace built by John III of Sweden in 1580 for his queen, Catherine Jagellon. In 1661, Queen Hedwig Eleonora engaged the architect Nicodemus the Elder to design and rebuild the castle after a wildfire burnt down the original castle. Work began earnestly and it was almost completed by 1681 when Nicodemus died. His son, Nicodemus Tassin the Younger, continued his work and completed the elaborate interior design. The Drottningholm Palace is now considered one of the most beautiful royal residences in the world. Situated on an island in Lake Malaran, it features a stunning Baroque garden as well as a theatre that is still used today. The palace itself is a masterful example of Swedish thoughtful design. Number 2. Tabkabi Palace, Turkey at the height of his reign and conquest, Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror ordered the construction of the Tapkapi Palace. This palace is one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. 
Situated on a hill overlooking the Bosphorus Strait, the palace complex is vast and its numerous courtyards, gardens and buildings are a testament to the power and wealth of the Ottoman Empire. This stunningly beautiful palace served as the administrative building and as a primary residence of the Ottoman Sultans for over 400 years, until 1856, when Sultan Abdul Majid decided to move his residence to the newly built Dolma Bati Palace. Today, the Tab Kabi Palace is a museum that houses an incredible collection of artifacts from the Ottoman period. Its true beauty lies in its architecture and setting. The palace complex is a masterpiece of Islamic design and its views of the city and strait are simply breathtaking. For anyone who loves history and architecture, Top Kapi Palace is a must-see. Number 1. Palace of Versailles, France In 1623, King Louis XIII of France built a haunting lodge on a hill, which is 12 miles west of Paris and 10 miles from his primary residence. His primary residence at the time was scorned as being generally unworthy of a king, and one of his courtiers, François de Bassompierre, wrote that the lodge would not inspire vanity in even the simplest gentleman. Seven years later, architect Philibert Leroy replaced the lodge with a chateau for Louis XIII, who forbade his queen, Anne of Austria, from staying there overnight. After the king's demise, Louis XIV then built the Palace of Versailles on this same property. The palace was intended to be a grand display of the king's power and wealth. Covering more than 800 hectares, the palace complex includes hundreds of rooms, several gardens and a massive park. Visitors to the palace can explore the lavish state apartments, view the famous paintings by Rubens and Velasquez, and stroll through the manicured gardens. The Versailles is regarded as one of the most beautiful places in the world, receiving over 15 million tourists each year.